So you are watching the Climber Dad channel. Thank you for tuning in. In this video, I'm gonna talk about what is a volume? What is a climbing wall volume? And some of you may be thinking, well, that's an easy one, Climber Dad. I've got this. I wasn't born yesterday, but there's actually quite a bit of confusion on what a climbing wall volume is. In 2017, I had the opportunity to go to the Climbing Wall Association Summit and I was able to talk to some legendary people in the industry and ask them about what they thought a climbing wall volume is or should be. And recently, as I was just going through my garage, I found those notes. What is a climbing wall volume? Well, there are some difference of opinions out there. So I know that in other parts of the world, it's okay to call a giant hold a volume. And that has started to cross over into the US. So let's talk a little bit about what a climbing wall volume is. But I wanna say something right now to just get it out of the way. All right, let's bring this in. This is a panel from my climbing wall. Now, if I just screwed this onto an existing wall, it's flat. It could increase the amount of T-nuts that are in there. Would this be considered a climbing wall volume? I've seen some people advertise this as a volume because it could have extra T-nuts, but it is not a climbing wall volume. It's a panel for a climbing wall, regardless of how many T-nuts are in it. One of the characteristics that a climbing wall volume should have is a geometric shape, like this uh, dodecahedron maybe. Woo! Okay, so this uh, is not considered a climbing wall volume though, because it is not designed to attach to a climbing wall and there are no holds that can be attached to it. So let's get into some of the opinions on what a climbing wall volume is. Pull out my notes. Woo! Answers given from various people at the 2017 Climbing Wall Association Summit. Uh, Kyle Ham from Thrive said that it is large and lightweight. Ty Foos. If you don't know who Ty Foos is, you should probably look him up. He has been shaping for a very long time. He is the owner of eGrips right now. When I talked to him about it, it was really interesting because he talked about a hold that he designed, and I can't remember when it was, but it was called the piggyback. It was a large hold with inserts in it so you can attach other holds without damaging that hold. Um, and that is probably the first manufactured volume. His definition is that it needs to, you need to be able to easily add holds to it and how it's constructed and that it changes the climbing surface of the wall. Ian Powell's definition, when I talked to him about it, it was, that was really neat as well. It uh, gives more placement of different holds changes the dynamic of the wall. I thought that was really cool. It changes the dynamic of the wall. So how you're moving across that surface, a climbing wall volume should change or alter that path with that there. Okay, Louis Anderson, love him or hate him. Louis Anderson has just this amazing amount of depth in the climbing industry, specifically the climbing gym industry. He's been around since the late 80s, shaping holds. He's still shaping holds, and he's owned several gyms and has done a lot. He knows a lot in the industry. Uh, he said in Europe, 
A giant hold is considered a volume. It's just about the size. In the US, other holds need to be able to attach to it easily. So there's a, a theme that's going on here with a climbing wall volume. And my definition that I came up with after talking to all of these people and really thinking about it is this, climbing wall volume, a structure that attaches to the wall and changes the dynamic flow or angles they should be able to easily accept holds. So that is what a climbing wall volume should be. If you'd like to support this channel, I would really appreciate it. Head over to climberdad.com, get a t-shirt like this awesome t-shirt right here, and they went into the thickets and climbed upon the rocks. Climbing is biblical. And there's also a lot of other things you can donate to the channel there. Uh, we have climbing wall build plans, and there will soon be a link on how you can build your own volumes right there at climberdad.com. As soon as those build plans are available, there will be a link popping up somewhere up here. So check that out, and I will see you next time right here on Climber Dad. Yeah! I think that was good. I hope that was good. Thank you.